how to get started using our online panel optimizer software. We know that optimizing software will enable you to maximize your material yield and reduce your waste. So let me show you how our online panel optimizer will not only do this, but also how quickly and easily you can convert your cut lists into printed patterns for you to give directly to your panel saw operator. Remember that there is also an NC version of our optimizer software which will allow you to import your cut list patterns direct to your NC machine, saving even more time. Here we are at the program's interface. We have the large workspace, sidebar and the ribbon bar and tabs at the top. Firstly, I will take you through each of the commands on the ribbon bar. The parts icon displays the parts list in the workspace and is the default opening view for the program. We will go over options for editing parts in a moment. The materials icon changes the view to a materials list where you can select and edit materials you wish to use in your optimization. You can also modify the sheet size, cost and quantity of each material in the list as well as adjusting the grain settings for each. The set columns icon allows you to customise what column headings you display in your material list. If you return to the parts list you will see that the column headings are different and there are more options for you to customise. Here I will add the overmake and job column headings to my parts list. The machine catalogue is used to set up your machine. The options here vary depending on whether you are using the software with or without the NC link feature. Here I am showing you the options for the online panel optimizer. The setup tab in the machine catalog has detailed graphics designed to make the process easy to understand. The import cut list command allows you to import a cut list from a third party software. Here I will import a sample cut list that has been created using an Excel spreadsheet. You can use this utility to define what each field in your text file represents so that it's imported properly. Here in the preview you will see your text along with the column headings that are available in your parts list. Click on the column header to set each column type correctly. Now that we have some parts in our list I will show you the different options available to edit our parts. To manually add parts you can simply select the next available line and fill in the fields. Parts must be entered at cut size regardless of whether there will be edge banding applied. You can use the numeric symbols on your keyboard to enter sizing as an equation rather than a single number which can save time in calculating sizes and also minimise errors. You will notice that I have entered a quantity of 10 in the over column. This over option allows us to specify that we want to cut more of these parts but only if we have room on our sheets. To specify edge banding, simply right click on the part to access the edge band editor. When assigning banding, there are up to 26 banding indicators. This allows for multiple types of edging to be used per part within each cut list. By assigning the banding, you are not adjusting the part size, but you are generating information for the part to be labelled correctly. Once all parts have been entered, you can optimise your job. However, before we do that, I'd like to show a few more options within the online optimizer software. The material catalogue allows you to access and edit the setup of your panel stock and edge bending. Properties such as costing and grain, material size and thickness are entered here, and as previously mentioned, there can also be multiple bending indicators set. The authorization code option is where you must enter the 24 character code you have been assigned to activate your software. You will also find there are system preferences that you can customise regarding general optimization settings, geometry for pre-milling and reports and measurement units. Additionally, there are optimised parameters you can set to apply rules for patterns and restrictions or trim around your sheets. Now let me show you the optimising process. By default, all parts that can be sent to the optimizer will be. However, if you just wanted to send certain parts, you can select them individually. To select a single part, simply click on the icon next to the part. To select more than one part, just hold the control key down while selecting them. You can also select a range of parts by selecting the first part you would like to send, then holding the shift key down and selecting the last part. Simply do not highlight any parts to ensure all of them get sent to be optimised. Now you need to select your machine, or in this case panel saw, from the sidebar to optimise your job. 
you have the option to modify the run number for the job if you wish. Once the run is complete, you can view information about this optimization, such as how many sheets of each material were used or usage and waste percentages. The sidebar will now display stacks of the material that has just been optimised. Select one of the material types to see the cut patterns display in the top half of the workspace, with the list of parts below. If you click on a part in the list, its location will be highlighted on the cut pattern for you to view. If there are multiple sheets, these can be viewed by selecting the next page icon from the ribbon bar. Patterns can also be printed directly from here, as I am demonstrating now using a PDF printer. These PDFs are ideal for saving files, emailing or printing hard copies. Back to the optimization where you can produce the final reports for your job. These include labels and a material summary which can outline a job costing for you. This information can also be printed just as I previously demonstrated. Thank you for watching. We hope you have found our demonstration helpful in getting to know your online panel optimizer.